In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to export images from Capture One using process recipes. Now let's perform a simple exercise. Before you continue, just pause this video and then let me know in the comment section, how do you export your images, like your normal procedure, whether you use Capture One or Photoshop, just let me know how you export it. Okay, now let me show you how I export my images from Capture One, making use of process recipes. Now, if you're doing it in Photoshop, what you realize is you have to do it for each image. Let's say if you have 10 images that you have to export, you have to export each image one after the other. Counterproductive, right? <laughs> now, Capture One has simple ways of doing this. Now, let me just explain something small in this. If you want to export this particular image on the screen here to, let's say, three different formats. The first format is for social media, Instagram. You know, Instagram has its own aspect ratio, especially when it comes to portrait mode. And then, let's say one for Facebook, and then one for your website. These three platforms have different dimensions for their pictures. So if you're going to do this in Photoshop, that means you have to save that image like three different times, which is you know, time consuming. Now, Capture One has a simple mechanism of doing this with just a few clicks. Let's say you can uh, save 90% of your time doing it in Capture One. So let's go straight into that. Now, it has something called recipes. If you look on the left here, I have um, a couple of recipes. I have one for Supertech, um, JPEG full size, highest quality, Behance portfolio, Instagram, JPEG standard, proof, and all that. These are recipes that I created because I use them a lot. Now, if I'm go if I want to export this image to Instagram format, well, I select Instagram. And automatically I have this JPEG, the full rest of the image saved. So this is what I save on my external hard drive, just in case client comes back and says, so I want um, a different size of this. I have the full JPEG of that edited image. And then I have the Behance or portfolio. This is what I put on my website or on my Behance um, profile or Facebook, any other professional uh, portfolio that I have. This is the format I use. And then proof, let's say, this album has 54 images. Let's say I need to send them to my client to make a selection of 10 images. I will export it as proof. I have uh, the settings in there. I'll show you guys in a minute. Now let's go through. This is the proof. So I export it to this and I send to the client. It's a low res, low quality version. So the client just looks at it and then um, makes the choice. So you see I have a watermark on it with preview written on so that anybody sees that image they know that this isn't the final image that way you're protecting your brand also so let's go straight into creating our own recipes so here you see the arrow here there are some recipes there already that you can pick as templates so you can build on that otherwise you just click on plus and it gives us an empty recipe so here untitled recipe let's name it uh uh, export enter so you see it's automatically selected now if you come down here where you have process recipes this is where you're going to input your values and then the process summary tells you you know it gives you details of whatever changes you're making like the size the format everything so let's go ahead and start editing the format i want it to be jpeg that's what the web browsers can see or mobile phone jpeg see that's what we have the quality you can decide you know depending on where you want to save it i have another video on how to export for social media so i'll include the link in the description so you can check it and then make an informed decision on how to export for social media so here let's say we want to keep the quality at 100 and um, the profile I will keep it at sRGB because it's for web. Resolution, you can decide to keep it like that. Or if it's for web, you don't need anything more than 100 pixels per inch. So let me enter uh, 100. Then this is where the scale matters. With the scale, it depends on 
what you want to control or where you're saving it. Once again, you can watch my video on how to export for social media. So let's say for our export, we are going to be exporting to Instagram. So we want to constrain this by a certain um, a certain value. So for the we want to use um, the long or the short edge. Well, I want to use the short edge. And then here I want it to be in pixels. And Instagram, with Instagram, if uh, the short edge is uh, 1080 pixels. So what this means is it's going to constrain the short edge. So it's universal for whether the image is portrait or landscape, it's going to constrain only the short edge and the long edge will be left, you know, um, just anyhow, once it constrains the short edge, it will be able to automatically adjust the long edge accordingly so the image doesn't get distorted. And then here, open width, you can choose what to, but in this case, I just want to export, so I don't want it open with any other thing. Now, for the location, that will change at all times. Anytime you want to export, you would have to specify the location if you need a subfolder and all that. The naming also, let's say with these ones, I've um, programmed my camera to give this naming convention. If I would want to change this whilst I'm exporting, then I can make those changes. But I want the name to remain like that. So see, it gives me back the same name. Now under process summary, we see that the name of our recipe plus any other selected recipe, see? So let's disable this. Let's disable this. So we have only this. Now if you see here, the recipe is just our export. The file name is this. The size is 1080 by 1500. And it's the, if you tell the percentage of the scale is 29%. The ICC profile is sRGB as we chose JPEG and the size is one meg. Now, if you want to reduce the size so you don't spend much in data, then that has to do with the quality. Let's reduce the quality to 80 and see what happens to the size. See, the size has drastically changed to 280 KB. Meanwhile, if you export at this resolution with a size of 80 and put into consideration the fact that Instagram compresses the images, you see that you've saved enough of your data by reducing the quality because between 80 and 100 percent like there's no difference if you're posting on social media but then for shaggy reasons let's just keep it on 100 like this so if we go ahead and export this image let's choose um, somewhere desktop right now if you put it on desktop you might not see it. so let's go to choose folder and then we'll save it in documents yeah, we we'll just save it in documents here, like that. And then here, the subfolder, we want it to create a, a folder with this name, the name of our recipe. That's one good thing about Capture One, to create a folder with this name. So here, let's click on this, and then we'll choose the format. So what you want to put here is recipe name. So once you choose recipe name and you click OK, see it enters in here. Or you can just go straight and then type recipe name here and it will be input there. Hope you understand. So what this does is it saves this image in the documents folder. Then it creates a subfolder in the documents folder called the, with the recipe name, which is our export. Now I'll show you why this is very important and you know makes your workflow very easy. Now with this, let's click on process, which means it should process this particular image and save it. So you see, it's processing. Bam. And it's done. So let me open Finder and show you guys what new Finder window. Awesome. Now this is the new finder window. Let me expand it. So you go to documents and over here, let's go through, you see our export. We have a folder here called our export. If you open it, 
This is the image we just exported. See? Easy, right? No problem. Now let's delete this folder and then minimize this. And let's go back to this. Now we are we are done with this. Now let's say you want to add this particular one. Right. So let's select it. So now we have two recipes selected. And let's say we want to add Instagram also. Now look at this. If we export this, we go ahead and process it. It will create three folders. Pay attention. One with uh, the name of our export. The other one will be called Behance Portfolio. And then the third folder will be Instagram. You think it's magical? Now let's go. Let's just process this. So it will export this image three times in three different folders automatically. See, this time is taking much longer because it's doing a lot more than just what it did. So as that happens, let's open this. Let's open Finder and see what happens. So over here, if we look already, we have one folder called Behance. See? If you go to Behance, it's there. See? Our image is there. If we go to Instagram, our image is there. See? And if we go to our exports, our image is there also. See how beautiful it is? So with just one click here, process you've been able to automatically create three different folders with three different export formats. See, so if you look at our export, the file size is 1.6. If you look at Instagram, the file size is 408 kilobytes. If you look at Behance, the file size is 715 kilobytes. You get it? So all we had to do was set, set up our export uh, recipes and see what it has created for us amazing right now i know this might be you know a bit too much for you to consume in now but just stop the video now go back start from the beginning and watch it and now pay very close attention you will understand that it's easier exporting from capture one than any other app especially if you're exporting to different uh, formats and all that you know it makes everything so easy and smooth for you i hope i haven't confused you guys if i have just as i said earlier go back to the beginning watch this video and then try and understand everything once you understand it it makes life easier for you this is what i use all the time sometimes i export to more than five different uh, recipes and then when your clientele base increases let's say you export for different clients based on their needs you will need to create more um, export recipes for them. Each client will have one folder for that. So when you export, it saves it in that client's folder automatically. Don't forget to give this video a like if it's been helpful to you and share it with someone you think will benefit from watching this. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching.